Hey, this is PH. Welcome to Can I Screen Right? The only show that's going to show you how to screen right when you're screen ready. But who am I? My name is Patrick PH Hampton. I am an independent screenwriter, uh, self developed. Uh, my screenplays have gone across the indie market from emphases to a lot of interest. My peak in the indie market uh, or indie festival side of things was nominated for Screen of the Year by a couple of screen film festivals, including the Austin Revolution Film Festival for my screenplay, The One Percent. Uh, that has gotten gotten crazy interest through the industry. It's a reflection on my life in a high concept. But there's things that I, I even though when I was pitching, I forgot to uh, make very blunt. But the cool thing about it is that we're here. We're going to be screen ready today. I am going to do the run to do at 40 hour screenplay throwdown again. Yesterday's episode got completely deleted. It. I filmed it in the wrong video format. And I also did not capture my audio. So let's just call it a race. Round two. Fight. Uh, so what is the Rudder Duat throwdown? No. Where are there it is. Ha ah! Don't look at all my tabs that are open. I don't care. Alright, so the Rudder Duat. 40 hour screenplay throwdown. Get ready to rumble. It's time to throw down your screenwriter skills and see if you got what it takes to be the last writer standing. Enter the 48 hour screenplay throwdown to flex your writing skills and pit your quick script up against other writers in the WD community. Five finalists will have the script submissions read and judged by professional screenwriter Daniel Bertree Jr., Beverly Hill Cups, and Tuner and Hooch. Free to submit, effortless to enter, and fantastic opportunity to win prizes. First and foremost, I'm just going to be honest. I do not know if I will be automatically disqualified. I am endorsed by Reddit Duet. I've been blessed to be given a, a free copy of their software through my my career in the last five years. I've written multiple screenplays with this software, so I love it. And I'm very blessed to... I guess the joke that we we, we tell people is I'm um, one of the only endorsed screenwriters in the planet. <laughs> it's fun. So, you can submit either with a PDF file or the Red Duet read link. Very easy to submit. And like I said, uh, by midnight tonight, it's due. Or midnight, February 16th. So... I usually say it takes relatively like an hour a page when you're writing a screenplay. And that's just a great way to think about it. So if it's an hour and a page, two hours a page, uh, an hour or two pages, um, if you can do a uh, page every 15 minutes, it really gives you a great uh, flow. But I find that you could be writing like three pages in 15 minutes and you can write one page in four hours uh it's about your average last night i ended up writing a full four page screenplay with three characters one location um embodied remember it's just embodied in a theme throw it out and yeah let's go with that so those are the rules. Uh, this is the, I'm gonna go with the screenplay I wrote last night. Um, let's go switch to our scene. Web scene. That's not my scene. Weird. 
Let's go through some technical difficulties as we get this reset up. Oh, you know, that's going to be easier since we do it. That's why. All right. There we go. And we are corrected again. So. Because I really like uh, the shot. All right. The drifter duet. I don't want to read the right by, so I'm gonna do this. All right. The Drifter duet written by Patrick P. H. Hamp to the button. Yes, it is. That's my name. Please wear it out. All right. So, the way that I like my, take my screenplays is ah, the way I like to, to to approach my screenplays is with an open heart. Uh, every screenplay has their beginning, middle, and end. It's always about the journey. I never know what I want to write or how I'm going to write it. It's just once it gets on the page, it's there. And that's one thing about it. Like When you get too... Uh, too stuck on trying to say something and not what you're trying to say. Or how are you trying to say it instead of what you're trying to say. It can create a, a writer's constipation, as I like to say. So, I wrote this last night. I ended up doing it in two hours, which is great. Um, let's start. External desert morning, and the metal arm continuously pokes at a seemingly dead body of the drifter. A cowboy hat wearing man with a long red scarf. Ow, off screen. Are you done yet? Groaning. The drifter rolls over and digs his face deeper in the door. He retorts. The drifter. Fuck <coughs> off. <coughs> Fuck off. <coughs> I like that better. It's a dehydrated cough. Um, artificial life form, or as it likes to be known, Al. Artificial life form where Al, as it likes to be known, a spider-like robot with the digital iPad face pokes his companion shamelessly again. Al. That's what she's. That's what she said. The drifter lives said and continues. Contin head continuing his dry cough. <coughs> F U <coughs> C K off. What you talking about, Wallace? The drifter. Can you see me be? Al Citizen checks his vitals. And no, but. I have discovered you are severely dehydrated and your core temperature is below average. The drifter, how below? Low enough to be, you'd be considered dead. But I'm bumch. Plays out over its speakers and it do, and Al does a jig. The drifter bears his head back into the sand. Burn. The drifter lifts his arm for a high five. For real? Al falls back into Jake. The drifter still coughing, lifts his head, and looks at his head.
How quick can plies? For real? A big thing about editing your projects too is, is reader flow. It just think about a reader and and falls back into a jig. The drifter still caught and lifts his head and looks back at his. No, it's not an end. It's a then, then, then falls back into his jig. Yeah. The drifter. Fuck. That was cold, even for a tin man. I know, right? No, you synthetic sadist. What are you? What do you? Why are you? Why are you do mean? Why are you so mean? The drifter. Your cold ass leg arm thing burned. Uh, burned my hand. Shit. You're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice. Cool. That was actually my biggest one that I would do. It's the regrets choice of words. The drifter. The drifter is the regrets choice of words. I should I probably shouldn't mention since you finally raised from the dead. My batteries need to be charged. The drifter rolls up his rolls up to a sitting position and fiddles his wrist right like a leather bracelet. With an iPhone and X in case, the drifter. Why do you always waste energy in the morning or in the AM? Al. I couldn't sleep. The drifter. Funny. Me either. I was freezing to death. And this is just like. Yeah, but I was having a bad dream about robots don't dream. What did I tell you about running simulations? Yeah, but I couldn't help it. Yeah, but it's about to be kicked. How long do you need? Um... Yeah, no. Okay, that works. As long as I don't go to page five, I'm cool. All right. Um, isn't it? Okay, Al notices there's a, a drone flying in from the distance behind the bickering of the drifter. Um, isn't an answer. Seriously, your computer, compute things. Stop acting like a child. You're like 800 years old. We do this every time. Every fucking time. Al, look out! A drone flies into the drifter's head. The drifter, ugh! Thanks for the heads up, dick. Sorry, but I don't have eyes. The drifter, you, yeah, but you have sensors. Sense. Al picks up the drone. A hologram glows from it, screeching like a fanboy. Is he going to do the thing? Victor in a lavish black shroud comes into manifestation. The drifter, thank the god. Victor, what in devilish is taking you so long? Do I have to kill them all? Al, can I talk with you for a minute? To, Al to the drifter. 
it broadcasts on the screen arrows with now and my dreams on his face. The drifter ignores him. The drifter. Victor, how the hell have you been? How long was the last time you tried to fuck with me? Why do you have to use such foul language? I don't know what my daughter saw in you. The drifter. She didn't see anything. We just felt each other. If you know what I mean. Victor, you son of a bitch. Language. The victor. I'm going to kill you when I when you get here. I swear to my wife's grave. The drifter. Which one? Alan Zing. Don't act like you're my only hope. The drifter. Call it. Call it your best chance. The drifter takes the drone and shuts it off. He stands up. Runs on an app on his phone and gets on and gets a move on West. The drifter, he's so impatient every time Al climbs up on the on the drifter's back. On the drifter's back, like a backpack. Al, he didn't do it. <laughs> There's just so much in here. I like it. It's a nice little script. It's fun. Nothing crazy. Um, yeah, it's just not fun little script. All right, at the table. So, what is at the table? I don't need the card. So, I've really been one to get this story out of my soul. It's been bugging the fuck out of me. We're going to be going um, from this take. Where are we at? All right. When I come back, we're going to be going from... From what I just read, we're going to go take a screenplay from scratch and do this 48-hour challenge naturally. One location again, round two, fight, PH, you know. If you can't write better than me, you shouldn't call yourself professional. Just saying. Um, yeah, so we're going to come from scratch. Um, I have an idea in my head. It'll be fun. Clean it up. Get it out. And we'll submit. I'll figure out which one I want to submit afterwards. This one's going to be interesting. It's going to be more of a cerebral kind of filler. Uh, I'm going to go into some memories. And I'm going to really take this concept and fuck with it. Uh, I think it's going to really explain some business bullshit in the industry. And then also show people providence. Providence is the God-given ability to, to have a stance. And either it can be given to you by wisdom, and given to you by referral, or it can be given to you by necessity. And I say this too, mind, body, spirit. Very good way to really comprehend that. So... Stay tuned. I'm going to end this a little short. But thank you. I hope you guys enjoy with the reading and the edit of the Drifter duet. And what is a duet? A duet is a performance between two people. When I was writing this, I was thinking of the comedy forms of Louis and Costello, the man on the first. That was a huge inspiration when I was writing this. <laughs> so, if that comes through to any of my readers or anybody goes through it, that'd be brilliant. Um, 
And as you can see, it's uh, ba da ba -ch, and they're just playing off each other. So, thank you again, PH. Can I screen right? Uh, the rehash of the Drifter Duet. For the right out. For the 48, 48 hour right duet. Throw down. Yes, sir. But up, uh, oh,